Hi and welcome to a short course on creating buttons, button images um, using Microsoft Word and MS Paint. Now I've just displayed four buttons there on a Word document so these are the types of buttons we'll be creating. Now buttons can take, take all shapes and forms these are just some simple ones. So we're going to start with the first one and if you click on insert up the top the insert tag and go down and click on your shapes. We're just going to insert, insert a text box to start off with and click from the top left to the bottom right to shape and size your text box. Your cursor is in the middle of the text box indicating that you are now ready to um, type your text. Okay, once you've typed your text you may want to do some formatting so going back to the home toolbar. In this case I'm just going to bold it, change the font center align it and I'm going to make the color white because we're going to be changing the background to black so click on that and you can't see your text now to format the actual text box we've got to click on it and the selection markers must be surrounding it so you know it's selected the format tag appears click on format over here you'll have your shape fill we'll click on that and choose a black color and the outline will also choose black so we'll actually not show any outline at all Okay, I'm just going to select this text and make it larger by just going like that. There we are, and we've just created one button. Now the next button is a made with a shape. So again, we're going to go insert, shape, and we're going to choose this one with rounded edges. Now the shapes are all already pre-designed with a color format, so we'll just change that. Click on format. We'd rather have the color, the fill color to be red, and the outline color to be none at all. We don't want an outline. Now when you're adding text to a shape, you must right click on the shape, click on add text and you can start typing. Sorry, so I may make a mistake. Okay, now for the next image, the next button, this is an image, so we're going to insert a picture, so you must have the picture file already somewhere. Okay, so it's going to... Um, Go to this one, I've already insert. Now in this you'll see the picture just goes to the middle of the page. If you actually, while it's selected, click on format and click on text wrap and do the square. Now you can move the image freely around the sheet and all the boxes or all the text will actually wrap around it. So it won't make the boxes and the text move all over the, the place. So that's a very one to, good one to remember. Click on format, text wrap and apply the text wrapping square it is to the box. Once you've got your image and you've resized it and you've got the shape you want, you then add a text box, click on insert, shape fill, text box, I'm just put it here, type what you want in it. Good. Select the text box. This time we're going to click on format and go shape fill and go no fill because we want to see the background. We do not want an outline either, no outline. Whilst the text box is selected, at this point you can click on the home, change your fonts, maybe apply the bold, maybe change the colour, maybe increase it a bit and apply the centre icon. I don't think white is suitable, maybe black was a bit better. Okay, so we'll just change the size. Now you can move the text box around, which means you can move the text around the actual image. So there we've got another button. Last one here, we'll just do it quickly. It's a shape again. Click on insert, click on the shapes, and we're choosing one of these flow charts. And top left to bottom right. Again, it's come up with a pre-designed colour. So if we go format, change the colour to we're wanting a brown colour this time. The outline will have that brown as well. Again, it's a shape, so we, to insert the text, we must right-click on it, click on Add Text, and type the text you require. You can then select the text again and apply the various formatting. In this case, I'm just going to increase the size once. And okay, now that we've got the, the button images created, we're going to bring them over into Paint. So you need to run the Paint program. Before doing that, we're going to take a screen dump, so a copy of the entire screen. Now, if you look on your keyboard, top right, there's a print screen key. You just press it once. Nothing seems to have happened, but it's actually taken a copy of your entire screen. Now, to run Paint, here I've already got it loaded, but otherwise you can click on the Start button, 
click on all programs go to the accessories folder click on paint and it will automatically run now I'll just once it's it's up on the screen press control V or click on the paste icon up here and you'll find your screen dump is now on the screen now it's important to sort of just move your move it so you can actually see your images here okay we're going to take the first one and just select that so click on the select icon top left to bottom right now if you make a mistake press the escape key and try again so once you've selected it you'll see selection markers outside you can take a copy of it click on copy now what I do is I go and run the paint program again so if you right click and click on paint again now you're actually running it twice and now I paste it so here I have I've got my little button image on a new sheet I can then close up the worksheet because otherwise you're going to get that big white space so if there's any white space around it you must just click on the grey area you'll see the selection markers close it there we have a beautiful button I might get rid of that bit of white to upload then we'll save it file save as and of course save it into your your folder and call it often like I say your business name and maybe something else like what the image represents and make sure it's a JPEG file therefore when Google goes um, sending out its spiders it'll pick up your bit your file with your business name on it so you'll get more listings in Google okay I'm going to go back to the other one so if you come down to the bottom on your paint see you've got to run it twice so I'll go to the first one ah, back to my icons here they are my buttons so now I can select another one click on the select icon top left to bottom right now in this case you must be aware, you're aware of the background is white so take a copy of it click on copy go to the other sheet down here to business name and we'll just paste it now that's actually fit it quite nicely on the screen so we can just save at this point I'm not going to go through the save as each time so I'll just cancel that but you'd need to of course save it now going back to the first paint program I'm going to grab the next one this one here so I click on the select icon top left to bottom right I take a copy of it once it's selected I just switch over to the other paint program and I paste it now in this case I will need to remove this part here so you have to click on the grey area first get the selection markers and just move it in beautiful my image looks great so I would save that as well then I'd go back to the other paint window taking the bottom one now click on the select icon top left to bottom right if you make a mistake press the escape key and try again beautiful once I select it what I want click on the copy icon now go to the other one to do the other paint program it is here and click on the paste icon okay just make sure you drag your canvas up so I'm going to get right up there beautiful and perform the save function there now we have three images ready three JPEG files ready to upload to our website thank you I hope you enjoyed the course and um, do practice it a few times it's very important to be able to create artwork like this for your website